What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I wanna to talk about AMC. And yes, we had another down day, but it wasn't a huge down day surprise. As much as it feels like it's a catastrophic day, we only finished down six cents essentially from where we closed yesterday. So it's not a bad, bad thing at all. And the huge thing that I want everyone to do is Pull up whatever charting software you use, or if you got a Google AMC, and I want you to take a look at the monthly view, which should look something like this. And I want you to take a look at how many times AMC has been below $10 in the past month. It's not been a lot, so $10 can easily be reclaimed and turned back into support, and we're back above it, pushing towards $11 like we were a couple of days ago. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to the day view because what I really want to focus on is these little lines down here. Today, we had 33.41 or 33.41 million shares. Yesterday we had 28 roughly. The other day before that we had 43. And the other day before that we had 95. And then we had 76 the day before. And on average, over a three-month period, this stock is trading at 173 million shares roughly in a day. And today, we traded 33 million. Now, I'm no math wizard, but that's like a roughly a fifth, if not close to a sixth, of what the volume it normally is. And what this is telling me is it's telling me that everyone is holding on to the stock and they don't want to sell the stock for anything less because they believe that AMC is worth a lot more because what they do is they take a look at these charts and they can see we've already been at 20, we had our high of $20 back here in January and then we sold off and then guess what? We've been here at $13, $14. Like we've had these higher levels. So clearly nothing has changed about the stock over the past month. Sides the fact for the negative, I should say. If anything, things have only changed for the positive with Kong versus Godzilla breaking box office records and the attendance being better than what it was in 2019 for the 2021 version of the movie like if anything this is good news kind of thing we just need to take a second remind ourselves of where we have been and where we currently are because we've made a lot of progress guys and i cannot state that enough we've made a lot of progress yes days like this suck and days like this are hard to be amc shareholders but we just have to remind ourselves and appreciate those green days so and enough of that. But before I dive into the technical analysis here, if you can do me a favor and absolutely obliterate that like button because we like the stock and obliterate that subscribe button because we also like the stock. If you don't want to obliterate it, if you just want to poke it or if you want to tickle it or I don't know, whatever you want to do, just make sure that the like button turns blue and then make sure that that subscribe button turns gray and then give that bell a nice hug by turning on notifications. So Let's dive into the technical analysis of this. So we were down below $10 in the pre-market hours. We broke above $10 and we actually held it for a respectable amount of time. And I was kind of expecting us to start moving upwards, but the shorts had a different decision for us and decided to essentially short the stock right off the bell. And we quickly went from sitting here pretty much neutral on the RSI to just oversold within several minutes, which is showing how uncomfortable the volume is for the stock. And we sold off so quickly, but we had a rally back. And then when we sold off again, we didn't, we weren't making lower lows. We were making higher lows because pretty much in most of this chart, we were trying to bounce off and we were trying to push ourselves back up the $10, but we had the shorts just keep on pounding us again and again and again. And when they finally stopped really pounding us, we had this nice period of consolidation and then it was, oh wait, lunchtime's over, the shorts are back, we bought it, we bought it, 
we did some consolidation and then we said oh wait this stock is way th worth way more than nine dollars and 58 cents a share uh what the heck are we doing buy and then we bought into the close and the huge thing that i want to really highlight here on the one minute chart is how many times we tested 950 and really the huge thing that i want to show is that 950 i have the line drawn here at nine 951 but 950 we really bounced off of this area so many times we kept saying no it's worth more no it's worth more like i'm not selling my shares i'm just going to buy it at this point because i know it's worth more which is good because this is showing that people believe in the stock and people actually want the stock to move in an upwards direction if we were selling the stock because we didn't think amc was worth it or anything like that our volume would be extremely high and then this graph wouldn't look the way that it does I I messed it up here. Let's there we go. Back to normal. And this graph wouldn't look like this. If we didn't believe in the stock, this graph literally would come off at $10 and we would be down at $6 very quickly, followed by several circuit breaker halts and then several people probably buying the stock because they're like what the heck are you guys doing? The stock's worth way more than $6. We just got a price target the other day of $13 and a buy rating. Like, hello, this is conducive of insanity because literally we are trying to say that this stock is worth less than $10 when if we look out here at the five day and we zoom out a little bit more and we can see that we were above $10 here for several days in a row. And then if we even zoom out even more, we can see how many more times we were above $10 and how many times we broke down below it. Clearly the stock is not wanting to be worth less than $10. It is easily going to be worth $10 or more. Like in my head, 10, like anything underneath $10, I just absolutely buy it because I know that we will easily rebound and that's what my prediction is tomorrow is that we're going to rebound and I want us to take $10 back, take it from resistance, turn it into a support. And then if we trade above $10 and we close at 10.05, I'm going to take that as a victory because we traded, we got back above $10 and now we're holding it as support and we're making another staircase. We, as you can see here on the monthly chart, we're making these staircases down kind of thing. We want to make the stairs go back up and form that staircase back up. Now, I, I'm sorry, I got on a little bit of a tangent here. Get a little passionate about this kind of stuff and it's just like it drives you crazy sometimes. But the huge thing that I want to focus on today when we're looking at the five day, five minute is the fact of how quickly we went from pretty much very bullish territory to bearish, bearish territory like that. Like that's, it's huge kind of thing. And we did a good bit of consolidation and we did test oversold again later in the day. But the huge thing is we bounced off of it and quickly rallied back. So we are attempting to put the stock back over $10, but we are just getting absolutely hammered by the shorts all the time kind of thing. So we got to take this in and just, we got to understand that the shorts are absolutely hammering this right now because they don't want the stock to keep going up. Like we're trying to inflict max pain. The shorts are trying to inflict max pain on us too. So we just got to hold, we got to be patient and we got to believe we have to believe within the stock. And the huge thing here is I'm in the after hours, the RSI is sitting here at 39. The MACD is going back over the equilibrium and it's technically in a symbol of bearish territory because the MACD is below the signal. If we hop out here to the one month, one hour, like just take this in and just see how, like where we are. Like this line here is 951. This line here is 1051. This line right here is $10. Like you can see we've easily been trading within this channel for a very, very long period of time. And any time that we really get below it, we turn it into oversold very quickly. So like that's the huge thing that we have to remember here is that this stock just doesn't like being below $10 and it feels oversold when it's below $10. And 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the MACD and signal here. We do have a bullish indicator here towards the end of the day of the MACD crossing over the signal. Now what I would like to see is the MACD move back above the equilibrium and let's keep them hugging closely together because we don't want to get ourselves overextended because when we start getting overextended, that's when we start seeing implied volatility start increasing because our movements aren't as natural as a regular stock. It'll be more of a movement of a meme stock, but reminder, AMC and Jimmy are not meme stocks anymore. So the huge thing is also looking at the RSI, when we zoom in here, it's at sitting at 42, so we're sitting below neutral. So we have plenty of upwards movement. We are not sitting below 30, so we're not in, bo in bearish territory at all. So really what I'm looking forward to or tomorrow is for us to retake ten dollars, turn in the support, and then try testing ten thirty during that day. If we can take retake ten dollars and retest ten thirty, I'm going to consider that a victory for the day. Go into the weekend with my head my head hung high and feeling great about it. And even if we break down and we touch nine fifty one tomorrow. And we're trading around 951. I'm still going to walk into the weekend with my head, my head held high because I know this stock is worth more than $9.51 a share. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.